hard hardships in their lives, um, they they would say things and or they cry or they they they, they comment on life. Uh, we know that we're supposed to protect our tongue to the best of our ability, but sometimes complaining is perfectly fine as long as you complain to the right person, right? Saying it to the wrong person can make it a problem. But if you're complaining to the right person and allowing that complaint to be heard by the one that can truly make a difference is the, one of the most empowering feelings that a person can experience. And that is complaining to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّمَا أَشْكُوا بَثِّي وَحُزْنِي إِلَى اللَّهِ And Mufassir won't explain what is the difference between huzun and hazana. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in describing the mother of Musa, he says hazana, doesn't say huzna. And Mufassir won't say huzn is that calamity that is filled with complaints and that is filled with tears. And hazana is that sadness and sorrow that in which you don't express tears and you don't complain, but rather you're waiting for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unravel the next course of action. Huzn is what Ya'qub salam experienced. Huzn is what the Prophet ﷺ experienced in Amul Huzn. Huzn is what the Sahabas experienced when the Prophet ﷺ passed away. You know, I came across a poem that Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, the moment he was informed about the passing of the Prophet ﷺ. And we can imagine uh, the, the, the darkness that had engulfed him in his heart the moment he heard the Prophet has left the world. Uh, if we, if I, I don't have to try to trace back, but if I just simply think about the moment that I saw or I had that gut feeling of my brother, Rahimahullah, and anyone that has experienced any type of tragedy, and obviously speaking about this topic now is much uh, easier in some ways um, and, and, much and much more difficult in other ways. But if we think about that, we know what we were feeling. And we, 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 we could remember the, the, the feeling of our heart touching our throats and the feeling of not wanting to speak and being overwhelmed and becoming dizzy and lightheaded. Abu Bakr anhu, when he heard about the Prophet leaving the world, he says, Ya laytani haythu nubbi'tu al-ghadata bihi qalu ar-rasool qad amsa mayyitan fuqida layta al-qiyamatu qamat inda mahlikihi kay la nara ba'dahu malan wala walada ولست أسى على شيء فجئت به بعد الرسول إذا أمسى ميتا مفقودا كم لي ببعدك ميتا كم لي ببعدك من هم ينصبني إذا ذكرت أني لا أراك أبدا He starts off the poem by saying يا ليتني حيث نبئت الغداة به Oh I wish when I was informed about this calamity and I wish when I was told about this moment, the moment of when they said, قد أمسى فقدا, that the Prophet of Allah has left this world and he is now gone. He said, I wish I could have said, Layt al qamat عند This is these are the words of the strongest believer that the world has seen after the prophets. Hmm. Complaining to Allah is not a mistake. Complaining to Allah is a form of therapy. Complaining to Allah and speaking to Allah with your heart is a form of empowering oneself. He says, I wish, O oh Allah, you would have brought the day of judgment the moment the Prophet left this world. So I would never have to see any wealth or any children because every time a new child would come into this world, every time a new, every time a new endeavor is, is tread upon, every time a new institution is open, every time and your building is purchased, I would have to think about the Prophet. And the same works for us, and the same would work for that nine-year-old kid, that every single experience in his life, he will be thinking about the void of his parents not being there for him. I wish that I don't have to experience that. I have absolutely no care in the world about the difficulty that is to come to me now. Especially when I am reminded that I won't be able to see you again. And therefore, this man never smiled for two and a half years after the passing of the Prophet So the point of me sharing these stories or this specific story is for all of us that ever deal with a tragedy or people, if you see them dealing with a tragedy, let them speak, let them talk, let them share their emotion. And not, don't let it be that 
you know, we, we belittle them or tell them that, oh, you're just putting on a front. That's why you're crying. How dare you say that to someone? How dare someone says that to anyone else? That your tears are <clears throat> they're fake. We don't know what that person is dealing with. We don't know what that person is going through. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu shared these feelings with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this narration is mentioned by his own daughter, where she says that this was the poem that my father taught us when he heard about the Prophet leaving this world.